Starting things off at number 10, we got the Claremont twins. Shannon and Sinead Claremont are influencer twins based in LA and NYC with 1.4 million followers on Instagram. They are famous for being really, really hot twins. But the twins are notorious users of editing apps to the point where they don't even look like themselves in person. The image on the left shows what they look like on Instagram, and the image on the right is what they look like in person. The twins have also had a fair amount of surgery over the years. The top photo is what they used to look like a few years ago, and the bottom photo is what they look like now. I wonder if they got the exact same surgeries so that they continue looking like twins. Or maybe they went to the same plastic surgeon, who knows. That's the whole point, right? We're looking at these pics and analyzing them. Anyways, alright, so moving on. Moving right along now to number 9 on our list, Yelena Karluzars. Yelena is a Serbian singer with a staggering 2.1 million followers on Instagram. She is the most followed Western Balkan woman on social media, and she's also thought of as both a pop and fashion icon. From her photos, she literally looks like a blonde Kim Kardashian. She's perfect. Almost too perfect. Yelena was exposed by another account, Beauty False, and man, the difference between what she looks like in person and what she looks like in photos is astonishing. She was born in 1978, making her 41 years old. She's definitely not a young woman anymore, so I can understand the need to keep up appearances and remain as young looking as possible forever. The crazy thing is, some celebrities are so big that you're never gonna get close enough to them in person to see what they actually look like. In at number 8, Sweetie Juliana. This has to be one of the most severe cases of face tuning on this list, but honestly, Obviously there was a lot, so I just threw this one in there. Yuliana has 151,000 Instagram followers. Some unedited photos of her surfaced on Yoba Journal. These photos were taken on the exact same day. Do you see how drastic that editing is? It is crazy. Even more crazy, if you were a fan of her and you saw her on the street, you probably would have no idea that it's her. In at 7, The Fashion Freak. The Fashion Freak aka Melly Sanchez is a verified influencer with 1.5 million followers on Instagram. And there's videos up on her page as well that show she is genuinely an extremely beautiful woman and a very talented makeup artist. But then like why all the editing bro? She's also someone that's had quite a bit of plastic surgery. Here's a photo that shows just how drastic her looks have changed over the years. And here's a gif that shows an image taken straight from a Getty Images camera paired with that same image but edited. Savage yo. By the way Getty Images is a database where photographers will take photos at events and anyone can access these photos online. That's why it's possible to get both versions. In at number 6 we got Tana Mojo. You knew she was gonna be on this list. Tana loves editing her photos. She's been exposed time and time again, and she's been called out for her excessive use of editing apps by Bella Thorne. Now, Tana doesn't do a heck of a lot of face tune on her face, but she's shown to use it excessively on her body. This photo is the most famous one, the one in the yellow bikini. Oh yeah, I know you know that one. The photo on the left was what she posted to Instagram, and the photo on the right is a screen grab from a video taken on the exact same day, wearing the same yellow bikini that shows her real body. And she doesn't even do that good of a job at hiding the evidence. Her photos are always filled with blurred pixels and wonky lines all over the place. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with having a body that looks like that. But I mean, don't make people feel bad about themselves if you don't have a body like that. <laughs> Man, I got all the rolls coming out. I'm just <sighs> in at number five, Juliana Naughty. Juliana is a stylist and influencer with one million followers on Instagram. She also holds seminars on how to be insta famous, and she makes people pay money for that too. From her photos, she looks no more than 30 years old. She often poses in front of iconic European photo destinations like the Eiffel Tower and the Duomo in Milan. But Juliana looks nothing like her photos in real life. Here's some before and afters. Look, man, she's still a beautiful woman, but she's just she's just a little older. Why she needs to conceal that is beyond me. It's totally okay to get a little bit older, but looking back at her photos on her Instagram account, she just doesn't look real. She looks like, like a video game character or something, and she actually looks different if you compare her Instagram photos side by side. Her face changes a lot. Honestly, I just I kind of feel bad for her. And at number four, we got Sahar Tabar. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know all about Sahar Tabar. She's an Iranian influencer who edits the crap out of her photos to the point where she looks like the corpse bride. Sahar Tabar's editing is so drastic that you can physically see the pixels being moved around and stretched out. Now, it's not just editing. Sahar Tabar's photos are a combination of both editing and makeup. Things like prosthetics, contouring, and colored contact lenses are something that she uses often. But she really looks nothing like her photos in real life. She's actually a very beautiful woman. Sadly, Sahar Tabar's shocking online persona has gotten her in a lot of trouble lately. She lives in Iran and she was arrested on charges of blasphemy among other things like insulting the country's dress code. It is likely that Sahar Tabar will spend some time in prison over her social media posts. And at number 3 we got James Charles. James Charles is known for his excessive use of editing. But unlike many of the other people on this list, James Charles does not hide the fact that he edits his photos. He shows before and afters very often and he's even done video tutorials on how to edit your photos 
photos with Facetune. But you really get a feel for how drastic his editing is when you look at photos of him edited versus photos of him in person. Check out this selfie. Insane. Here is a gif of how much he edited his Met Gala photos. Like he even changed the shape of his head and his hair and his neck. James Charles' whole claim to fame is his makeup abilities, but those abilities are pretty much pointless if you're just using apps to change the shape of your entire face. Honestly, I feel like he looks better without the editing. All that face to makes him look like an alien, and not the kind of alien I want to hug. In at number two, Anastasia Kvitkoru. Anastasia is a Russian glamour model with 10.2 million Instagram followers. She's been exposed time and time again for making herself look absolutely nothing like she does in real life. I've come across this woman before, like so many before and afters of her so many times. In edited photos, she looks like a tall Selena Gomez with an absolutely perfect hourglass body. Without editing though? <laughs> I mean, completely different person, right? That's not to say that it isn't okay to look the way she does in person. Man, I'm not perfect, I got cellulite, I got stretch marks, I'm, you know, like it is what it is, but damn yo, her 10.2 million followers are following someone that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> By the way, pro tip, if you're looking at photos of someone online and they have absolutely no skin texture, that is a really good indication that they edit their photos. All right, and at number one on this list, Elba Presculi. Elba Presculi is an Instagram influencer with around 118,000 followers on the platform. From her photos, you never would have guessed that she would be anything other than perfect. She's extremely thin as well. She looks like a Victoria's Secret model. How is it even possible to have a waist that small? Uh, spoiler alert, it's not possible. Well, it is possible with Facetune. Elba Presculi actually had to make her Instagram account private because she was recently exposed by my favorite Instagram account, Celeb Face. She actually is the person who inspired this list because I have never seen such a drastic use of editing in my life. Elba Presculi on the left is what she looks like on Instagram, and Elba on the right is what she looks like in real life. We know this because she was recently at a red carpet event and there were Getty Images photographers there. Getty Images are accessible by anyone, like I said. Side by side, if you look at those photos, they don't look like the same person, like they just don't. And here's a gift to show just how much she edits the pictures. It is kind of insane because she's actually a very beautiful woman without editing. Why she feels the need to edit her photos to this degree is beyond me. Honestly, no wonder women have body issues, am I right? We're all like, we all want to be like these tiny, tiny Instagram models, but they're not real. I'm gonna go eat a cheeseburger right after this because I'm allowed now. <laughs> Starting things off at number 10, Danielle Kahn. The only reason why I put her in this list was because y'all said in the comments of part one you were surprised she wasn't on it. We all know. I wanted to give you some new info, but okay, Danny Kahn has been called out so many times for her very poor use of editing apps. She doesn't even bother to make sure that the background is straight. And it sucks because her audience is made up of impressionable young girls and boys. Here's a photo of her in a bikini for Fashion Nova. Here's a photo of her on that same day wearing the same bikini but unedited. Now Danny has talked about the fact that she edits her photos. I mean, I feel like she felt like she had to. <laughs> but making herself into that hourglass shape is not something a 13, 14, 15 year old girl should be doing. Megan Feather. Megan Feather has 394,000 Instagram followers. She's an influencer and YouTuber from the UK. I mean, listen, from her photos, she doesn't look like a real person. She's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but she doesn't look real. And that's because she's heavily edited. Here are some side by sides. I mean, she's not by any means unattractive, but do you see how much of a real person person she looks like on the right and how fake the edited photos look. One thing I do appreciate about Meg Feather is she doesn't edit her body that much. She's a curvy woman and that is beautiful. I'm glad she doesn't go overboard on the body tweaking, which is why she's not higher on our list. It is about that time for number eight, Miss Natalie Halcro. Natalie Halcro has 3.7 million Instagram followers and one of those followers is Ariana Grande. Wow. From her Instagram account, she's got one of the most peculiar and at the same time most stunning faces I've ever seen in my life. Like I can't stop looking at her. And I bet you anything those 3.7 million followers feel the same way. Almost too pretty to be real, right? Right. Bam. 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 Oh shit. Somebody stop me. Oh, mm. And Natalie's Instagram account makes her a lot of money. With that many followers, Natalie is charging tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for paid promotional posts. Every other post on her account is a paid promotion. I'll just let that sink in while you do the math. She's obviously still pretty, she just doesn't look like she does in her pictures, that's all. 
At lucky number seven on our list, Miriam Raman. Miriam Raman is a makeup artist with 528,000 Instagram followers. I actually didn't want to put her on this list because I do find her stunning, even without the Photoshop. She also posts makeup tutorials where you see what her real face looks like, which is why she's not higher on our list. But if you look at photos that were taken by other people that she didn't have control over without ideal lighting, without all the makeup and the Photoshop and Facetune and Face App and whatever the hell she's using, she looks nothing like her photos in real life. In at six, Nima Benati. Nima is a fashion photographer from Italy with 596,000 Instagram followers. She is a very talented photographer who shot campaigns for Dolce & Gabbana and YSL Beauty. But let's dive into our Instagram versus reality side by sides, eh? I mean, totally different. She is super pretty in person as you can see from those Getty Images photos. But like, why the Photoshop, bro? I'm genuinely shocked that someone this pretty edits their photos this much, but I mean, she's a fashion photographer who's around supermodels 99% of the time, so if I were in that position, maybe I would feel compelled to compete with them. But even Bella Hadid, the most beautiful woman in the world, scientifically the most beautiful woman in the world, edits her photos. I don't know, man. Halfway there now, at number five, we got Ellie Brown, AKA Brown.l on Instagram. Ellie has 1.1 million followers. She's a reality star who's on season four of UK Love Island. Now, Ellie has had a fair bit of work done. That's no secret. She was on Love Island, and if you haven't seen the show, contestants spend a fair bit of time in their bathing suits. Recently, there were some paparazzi photos taken of her on the beach, and like, well, like I hate, I hate talking about the altered bodies because there's absolutely nothing wrong with Elle's real body. Guess what fellas, that's what real women look like. But that's just it. That is her real body. Whatever photos she's putting on Instagram are not who she really is. At number four on our list, Elena Omovich. Elena has 1.1 million followers on Instagram. She is yet another Instagram model that does not look like a real life human being. She looks like she was generated by AI. And you know what, maybe she low key was. The thing that irks me the most about Elena is like the waist thing. There is no way anyone could have a waist that small. It is not physically possible. Especially not if you ate that cheeseburger, Elena. I had a cheeseburger for lunch, it was delicious. But my pants are tight now. Getting close now at number three, Zara McDermott. This one is real drastic. Zara McDermott is yet another reality television star with 1.2 million followers on Instagram. If you didn't know, she was on the show Love Island in 2018 and she was on X Factor Celebrity. But uh... Yeah. When I'm looking at this girl's Instagram, I feel so bad about myself. Bro, I almost like her body more without the editing. She looks like a woman, like a real woman. I don't even know how someone who's on TV all the time can think they can get away with editing their photos this much. Like, bro, like we're gonna know, we're gonna find out. We gon' know. In at two, Sonia Miro. Sonia Miro is a Russian makeup artist from Moscow with 422,000 followers on Instagram. She also sells some sort of gold serum. You can get it at a link on her Instagram page. Not really sure what that's for. It's all in Russian. But like the other influencers on our list, Sonia looks absolutely nothing like her photos in real life. I mean, what a difference. I feel like if you really wanted to create a fake persona online, you would have to make sure that there's absolutely no photos of you that exist anywhere else. But what happens if a fan wants to take a photo with you, or if your friend wants to take a photo of you? There will always be two versions of you floating around. There's something about someone who uses a lot of Facetune, but then also claims to be a makeup artist. Bruh, doesn't using a ton of Facetune kind of defeat the purpose of being a makeup artist? You're more like a Photoshop artist than a makeup artist. Am I right? At number one on our list, Kirsten Hancher. Oh, I'm about to ruffle some feathers with this one. Kirsten Hancher is a Canadian YouTuber and influencer with 6 million followers on Instagram. She also has 1.1 million subscribers on YouTube. She is known for her dope outfits and beauty tutorials. Other than that, she's known on Instagram for her absolutely tiny 12 inch waist. Like damn, you could wrap a glow stick necklace around that thing. But I mean, listen, some of us don't have itty bitty waists. Plenty of very fit women who work out every day do not have tiny waists. It's just not achievable unless we physically starve ourselves. But Kirsten, sweetie, I feel like you're going a little far with the face tune, don't you think? And Kirsten Hancher doesn't only face tune her body, she goes overboard on her face as well. Here's a no makeup look on her Instagram, and this is what she looks like in a video. I could do an entire video on Kirsten Hancher. There are entire Instagram accounts made to expose her and her Photoshop. But alas, we only have so much time in a video. All right guys, I am sweating bruh. I feel like you're all looking me up on Instagram, it's like, did this edit her photos? Mm. In at 10, Lindsay Palas. Lindsay is a model, actress, and influencer with 9 million followers on Instagram. According to her Instagram bio, she is genetically gifted. Hey, her words, not mine. Lindsay is beautiful, as are all of the women on this list. But Lindsay is a big fan of the Facetune, my friends. 
Here's a side by side. The photo on the left is from her Instagram page. The photo on the right is from a red carpet event. Now this one isn't as drastic as some of the other influencers on this list. She still resembles herself in the edited images, but you can see how she's using blurring and highlights to change the shape of her face. So it looks like a Barbie doll face. She's still stunning, but not quite the person that we see in Instagram in real life. In at nine, Norvina. Norvina, AKA the beautiful Claudia Sore, has 1.6 million followers on Instagram. You may recognize her as the president of Anastasia Beverly Hills. She is one of the most well-known makeup artists in the game. Norvina's photos are perfect. There are literally no imperfections whatsoever. But even Norvina, as beautiful as she is, doesn't look the way she does in the photos she posts on Instagram. Norvina was recently at a red carpet event where the good people of Getty Images were there. As I said in part one of this series, Getty Images photographers don't edit their images, but they're often at high profile events. Anyone can access the Getty Images database. The photo on the left is what she looked like on Instagram and the photo on the right is what she looks like without editing. Like she's still so stunning either way, but these two photos don't look like the same person. At number eight on our list, Aubrey O'Day. Aubrey O'Day is a singer, songwriter, and television personality. She was a breakout star on MTV's Making the Band back in 2005. She's got 139,000 followers on Instagram. From her photos, you would never feel like anything is amiss. Everything normal, yep. Good, yep. Nothing amiss. But Aubrey O'Day was recently at a premiere for Marriage Boot Camp, and photos of her from the event show a very different Aubrey from what you see on the gram. Aubrey has gone under the knife, that is no secret, but it's clear from these images that she doesn't look a heck of a lot like she does on Instagram, now does she? In at seven, Miss Andrea G, aka Andrea G. Andrea, the queen of swimwear, as she calls herself, has 254,000 followers on Instagram. From her photos, she looks like she's got an absolutely rockin' bod and a lifestyle that most of us would dream of having. I mean, does she ever? come off that yacht? I wouldn't. But there's something about Andrea's photos that looks a little too good to be true. Take this one with the dub. Uh, I don't think that bird is real. And you know what else isn't real? Her Instagram photos. In at six, Celine Centino. Celine is an influencer based in Zurich with 160,000 followers on Instagram. This one is a doozy, yo. You can tell from her pictures that they are edited. She does not look like a real life human being in them. It was also hard for me to find any images that were appropriate to share with you here because her posts are quite saucy. But Celine also posts videos where she looks absolutely nothing like her photos. Like you can see that she doesn't. So I'm not sure if she cares that people can see a difference. But uh, yeah, here's a photo of her on Instagram side by side with a screenshot from a video. When I was researching this video, I also found out that Celine looked very different a few years ago. Let's bring up a transformation photo, shall we? Yep, that's definitely different. <laughs> At number five, Sahara Ray. Sahara Ray is a model with 1.2 million followers on Instagram and she's got her own swim line. You probably remember her as being one of Justin Bieber's exes. I'm pretty sure she was the one that was like, with the naked photos of Justin Bieber. You remember that in the waterfall thing? Yeah, I think that was her. Anyways, I found some photos of her at a recent appearance at Girl Cult Festival in Los Angeles. She looks totally unrecognizable. She looks absolutely nothing like the person she posts on Insta. Now, I'm pretty sure she had a little bit of work done recently, so I'm not sure if these photos accurately reflect what she looks like now, but when I saw these pictures of her, they reminded me of Elba Presley from part one. Can we make up a pic? I'm sorry, but don't these two women look like the exact same person? Are y'all using the same editing app or what? Cause these are two completely different women. In of course, Sora Jabu Selik on Instagram, but she says her name is Sarah. She's a model with 374,000 followers. There's all kinds of weird wonky things going on in her post. This is what she looks like on Instagram. And this is what she looks like in person. You really get a feel for how much she edits her photos when you look at her edited pics next to a screenshot from a video. I also found some stock images taken of her that show a very different person. Although apparently Neymar, like uh, football star Neymar, doesn't seem to mind. Apparently he sent a private plane for her so she could visit him in Barcelona. I wonder if he was looking at photos of her on Instagram. <laughs> In at three, Dirty Hippie. Dirty Hippie, AKA Hannah Winifred Tittensor, is a smaller influencer with just over 42,000 followers on Instagram. From recent photos, she looks like a black woman. But if you look at older photos, it becomes clear that Dirty Hippie is actually a white woman. A white woman who clearly likes tanning a lot. And actually she was on one of Barcroft's episodes of people who are addicted to tanning. One of my favorite accounts, Beauty Falls, recently exposed her. Here are some side-by-side -side images that show just how much she edits her face. And here's an image that shows just just how much she edits her body. The image on the left is taken from her Instagram page. The image on the right is from Barcroft's video. Like, bro, <laughs> that waist is tiny. I feel like the only people with waist that small are women that are like 5'1". If you've had a waist that tiny, I commend
recommend you. I just know for the majority of women, a waist like this is completely unattainable. And clearly it's unattainable naturally for Hannah as well. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna happen. Coming into our number two spot on our list, Ola Farahat. Beautiful Ola Farahat has one million followers on Instagram. Ola is a fashion blogger based in Dubai and one of the most famous influencers in the Middle East. Her lifestyle is pretty much as bougie as you can get. But because she's got a bougie lifestyle, she goes to a lot of events. Events where there are Getty Images photographers. Here are some side by sides. Like I really wanna make sure my viewers know that I'm not calling these women ugly in person. They're still beautiful, they just don't look the way they do in their photos. And and at number one on our list, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe has 100 million followers and she is one of the biggest celebrities and influencers on this list who's been exposed time and time again for her excessive use of Photoshop and editing apps. I mean, she does belong to a family who's known for altering their appearance. When you got people like Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, and Kendall Jenner in your family, I mean, she probably feels the need to keep up with them. But Khloe does go a bit overboard with the editing and you can see a difference both on TV and in unedited images published by red carpet photographers. Honestly, I feel like if it weren't for the Kardashians, a lot of us wouldn't feel the need to get plastic surgery or edit our photos because we wouldn't be trying to keep up with beauty standards they have set for the rest of the world. Yet the Kardashians are some of the most notorious users of Photoshop and I mean we all know about the plastic surgery. 